Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode. I'm Ridehouse, she's Erin, and this is Conan Exiles. And today we're going to be killing the Undead Dragon and the Witch Queen. Let's get to it. Here we are on the map, we're on H6. So there we go, the sinkhole. Okay, here we are, we've just ported in. This elevator makes it so convenient. I highly recommend that people do it this way. Let's go on down. Just have to wait for this, there he is. Okay, so I've quickly just spawned into the single player mode just so that I can run you through the other entrance into the sinkhole because I used the elevator in my playthrough and I realized not everybody's going to have that entrance. So this is the map. We're here at H6 right here. So this is the arena and this is the sinkhole. It's just a straight shot all the way through. Now this is very easy. You can go in through the middle door here, but there's a giant snake and a lot of little snakes. And if you're just trying to run through, they can be a little bit more difficult because they have the poison and there's quite a lot of body blocking going on. So I recommend you just come up here to the stairs and you run on through. You will gain corruption. Just watch your stamina. I'll show you the snake real quick. It's just down there. You can see him. There's a lot of little ones as well. Can't really see them from here. But yeah, so you just run on through. Now there are a lot of skeletons. You can hear them more snakes up here as well they do patrol around so sometimes you'll get more sometimes you'll get less but yeah you just run on straight I just got some potions and food with me you shouldn't even really need them just watch out for the cripple there's chests around here with grey lotus in them and then you just come up here and then straight ahead is one of the waystones you want for your journey step and then I'm just going to run all the way around. If you just look, that's the dragon there. If you run all the way around the edge, you should be able to break aggro. Okay, there's one there. We got unlucky. But yeah, you just keep running. And then all the way around here on that tablet there, the little one on the left, that is the recipes for the dragon bone weapons. So this is very easy to run. So you just come up here. And there you go. That's the dragon bone weapons. Okay, so here we are at the top of the sinkhole. That's the obelisk if you're going to port in. Now, if you're going to farm the boss down here, the dragon, a lot, or even just the chests, like over there, for the Grey Lotus Blossom, I kind of do recommend doing it this way, because it's a lot easier than having to run down to that entrance, then run on through just to farm him. So, what you want to do is look out for one of these overhangs, basically. You want one that's not got too much of a lip beneath it. So, this one might not be a good one. I kind of, I usually see it built here. I got this idea from another guy on the server I play on, so this is not my original idea. I'm just letting you guys know it. Okay, so that should be good. See that we've, we're have we trying to do it so that the elevator's not going to hit any overhang. So, just place like this. Usually best to just place eight foundations next to each other. Just for the decay reasons. Oh my god, let's get the crap out of me. So, there we go, you've got eight foundations, then just grab your elevator. Now the good thing is, if you have messed up, you can just pick this up again. So let's just place it there, and if you look down, it goes right down the bottom. So then, you can just ride this up and down every time you want to farm the boss. So, let's head on back to our multiplayer playthrough and carry on. I just wanted to show you guys this, just so that it was covered for anybody that was kind of using this as a guide. But yeah, let's carry on, let's kill this guy. Okay, let's do this. Right, now, this guy has the same attack patterns as all the other dragons, where they breathe fire. They do that triple spin thing that knocks you over, and they have the swipe attack. They're pretty easy. I mean, he's pretty easy. But they can, if they get you on your ass with the sweep attack, he can do a hell of a lot of damage. And as this is a double damage server, it's going to be pretty tough. So luckily I have my thrall here, and it's going to be a lot easier with him. Just because of the aggro, mainly. So I highly recommend bringing a Thrall along to any of these fights. I mean, really, most people use a Thrall for most of the game. But yeah, I mean, he's not too tough. He's already on half health. Come around here, get him in the back. Just keep him sundered. Lower that armor. Just let the Thrall do most of the work, really. That's a good tactic for any of these fights, really. I mean, I'm using a hammer. You can use any a spear or anything two-hander. Yeah, uh, just take note that two-handers can damage friendlies as well as the foes. So, the 
There we go, he's done. He's bouncing around all over the place. Oh, <laughs> another little twitch. All right, let's come over here. Let's harvest him. Where's our pick? There it is. Right. Okay, so there we go. We've got the star of the champion. we got all the bone, dragon bone, demon blood. Okay, so yeah, we would just look around here. There's a lot of chests down here that have the grey lotus in them. There's a waystone there. There it is. There we go, we've got the grey lotus seeds. There's a lot of grey lotus blossom around. There's quite a few of these chests. There's on the bottom level here, and there's also more up the top. So we'll just quickly run around and grab a few of them. I always miss some. I'm really bad at finding chests, if I'm honest. That's the little tablet for the dragon bone recipes, like this hammer I'm using and the daggers. Very good recipes. I use them a lot because they're very cheap to repair and cheap to make, as opposed to some of the other weapons. Okay, yeah, we don't really need any of this. I guess I can take that just for the hell of it. Have a chest on the other side. Uh, yeah. Just eat that, I guess. Don't really need the rest of it. Okay, let's head up. No more around here. Now, as you can see, we're gaining corruption the whole time we're in here, so you don't want to hang around too much if you're planning to do other stuff. There you go. Yeah, so just keep looking for the chest. There are quite a few. You can get... Nice little haul. Another waystone there. Yeah, so after this we're going to go clear our corruption and then we'll head off to the Witch Queen. So here we are on the map. Over here. Okay, you just have to run down these stairs. I've put down a bedroll nearby just so if anything does happen. Let's grab a drink real quick, fill up our flask. And our other spare flask. I always carry two these days because I seem to get thirsty so quickly. Okay, let's head in. Nice little design on this area. I like it. There we go, just unlocked it. Palace of the Witch Queen. That's our journey step done. Now we just need to kill her. Uh, let's check your health real quick. Okay, yeah, so let's go kill her. Now, this fight has a little bit more mechanics to it than most of the others. Most of them are just damage sponges. Right, now wait for him to trigger. There we go. Now this guy is going to fight first, these two statues both come alive, so they're not too tough. General knockdown, kind of giant type attacks. We'll just sunder him up and then the thrall should do a lot of damage. I'm not sure what he's doing, he's just kind of looking at her right now. Oh, there's the knockdown. See, they don't hit too hard and this is a double damage server, so you should be just fine. There we go, one down already. So now there's going to be these green lasers going across like this, you see? So you can see the trail where it's going to blast. Just make sure you run out of that and you'll be fine. It's pretty it's pretty much impossible to get hit by one of these because it's so slow. They do this in another game, Final Fantasy XIV, I think, in one of the dungeons. And you only get like half a second to react in that game. This is much easier, you get so long. So now we just wait for this guy to come alive. Now you have to fight him while dodging the lasers. So this is a little bit more difficult, but still very easy. Just watch out for that trail. There 
Now we can't just run up and kill the Witch Queen because there's that protective barrier. That's why we have to kill these guys first. But now that he's dead, number two down. See, they're really not too difficult at all. Now this barrier will go and she will teleport down here. Just takes a second to trigger it. Let's try moving in a little bit. Come on down, love. Come on. Oh, she's gone. There she is. Right. So, now we kill her. Get the daggers out, get some bleed on her. Uh, not sure why the thrall's got her fists out. Right, she's got the sword. Now, there you go. Now, she's kind of just like fighting a fighter thrall, really. I mean, she's even got fighter written on her. So she really shouldn't give you too much trouble. I mean, our thrall is absolutely destroying her. I'm not really doing anything. So once again, make sure you bring thralls to these fights. They make it so much easier. And there we go, we're done already. So we just grab this stuff. Now that key opens up a door in the city where Conan is. And the mask is one of the end items. So yeah, there we go. You don't get anything for harvesting her. I was just showing you that. So we'll get rid of all these arms. That's a lot of arms from a person with only two. Grab my potions back, didn't mean to drop them. So that's that done, now we just come up here. I'll just show you around here. No chests or anything. Then you just come up to the throne, click on it, and that's it, you've got the, the recipes. The Lemurian Royal Armor, the Warrior Armor, the Pike, and the Sword. Easy. One of the easiest fights, if you ask me, and one of the most interesting with the little mechanics. You don't just have to sink a load of damage into them. So that's another two journey steps done. We've done the Undead Dragon and the Witch Queen. Not bad for a day's work. Now we'll just head back to base, and it's going to be quite a long run because it's actually on the other side of the map from here. Okay, well that's enough for one episode. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, and if you want to see more from me and Erin, make sure you subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy gaming. See you, Aaron.